You did a year of saying yes to things that previously scared you. Like I things did. like what? Like a clown appearing at your door, splattered <laughs> in blood, saying, Can I come in and sharpen my cleaver? Like what was <laughs> What were the things that scared you that you said yes to? I was really afraid of doing things like coming on a talk show. Usually this would have caused me to have a huge panic attack and I would have been like in tears and wouldn't have been able to come out here. I might have fainted on your floor. Oh, um, wow. Be good TV. It would have been really good TV. If you want to, just go right ahead. <laughs> just yeah. throw myself down. Yeah, please. Public speaking of any kind. Giving you, you, speeches. Gave the, you went to Dartmouth and you gave the commencement speech. I did. There, right? I did. That was my first big um, yes, my second big yes of saying, doing things that I was scared of. Yeah. And you gave a, I like, I like the, 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 the theme of it, which was, if I'm, if I get this right, don't follow your dreams was the theme of your speech. Absolutely. I, on a certain level, believe with you. What did you mean about don't follow your dreams? I meant that people who are dreamers don't ever do the things that they want to do. They spend their time dreaming instead of actually just doing. And the people who do are the people who actually get somewhere. Right, right. You know, um, uh, Chuck Close, uh, the painter, mm -hmm. he said, um, Inspiration is for amateurs. The rest of us show up and work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Same and if thing. everybody followed their dreams, you know, of who they wanted to be when they were children, the world would just be packed with princesses and cowboys. Absolutely. <laughs> Did you have a dream? What was your dream when you were younger? I wanted to be Toni Morrison. I mean, I really That's wanted to be a novelist dream. like That's Toni Morrison. That's a pretty Morrison. good dream, though. Yeah. Yeah? Why but not? Why didn't you do it? Toni Morrison already has the job. <laughs> was there anything in this year of yes that you said, yeah, no? Uh, <laughs> yeah, my yes is a big no to that. Because one thing you did is you said yes to health. You lost 117 pounds. I did. I did. Sure. I did. That was one. Yeah. That is, saying, that is saying no to a lot of things, lose 117 pounds. It was. It was saying no to a lot of things. But it was also just saying yes to wanting to hang around for a lot longer. You had a friend who said you never, you never do anything fun. Yeah. What did, what did she, you would like you run three TV shows. That's fun. What did she mean by you never do anything fun? My oldest sister Dolores said you never say yes to anything. And she meant that I, all I did was go to work and come home and go to work and come home. I never, you know, you think that people who work in Hollywood have these fancy Hollywood lives. Mm -hmm. um, I have kids and I was just working and coming home. I was a workaholic. Yeah. That was it. What was your idea of fun? Um, laying on the sofa and watching Game of Thrones. <laughs> Sounds pretty good, actually. It was pretty fun, <laughs> yeah. So you mentioned your older sister. You're the baby of a big family, right? Youngest of six. Yeah, I'm, I'm the youngest of 11. I <laughs> know that feeling. Isn't it great being the baby? I love it. Yeah. They think I'm helpless. It's fantastic. <laughs> you get away with a lot. I get away with a lot. I let my sisters take care of me whenever I'm around them. Absolutely. I love acting helpless. You sit down. <laughs> Family holidays are amazing because I just stand there and look confused and they do everything else. Do they still treat you as a child? They think I'm an idiot. It's fantastic. Well, thank God you're not. And thank God you said...